All right, this question has a big trap here. So first of all, we should hopefully understand that if we have 201% of something, it's getting bigger, right? It's increasing. So that should probably get us down to C and D. Now, most of you, having done lots of SAT practice, obviously, and just knowing how these questions work, you associate percentages with exponentials because that's kind of how we talk about exponential equations. It's increasing by 5% every year, and so that's an exponential growth. And so just seeing a percentage here is going to make you think that it's exponential, but it's not because of the way it's worded. It's actually linear. So if I were to convert this into an equation, f of x equals, that part's easy, 201% of x. So 201%, we would write that as a decimal, so that's 2.01, and then of means multiply. That's a linear equation. It's weird to talk about the slope of the line as a percentage. That's odd, but that's what they're doing. And that's why this question is a little tricky. It's 19 out of 22 math questions, so we should expect some traps here, even in the first module. Um, but we haven't really seen that many of them yet. This is maybe the first one where I would really think like, okay, people are going to get this wrong because they're going to fall for the trap. Not just because they're bad at math or don't understand what the question's asking. They're just, they're being led in a certain direction by the SAT and they have an impulse to continue in that direction. They can't pull back and think about the question numbers. So try to do that as you get to these harder questions later in the sections that there might be these traps. It, it's definitely a mean thing that they do, but if you just expect it, it gets easier to avoid. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say. Hopefully this just makes sense. I, I, I guess the, the key piece is it's not increasing by 201% of the previous X's value. There's none of that. This is not, there's nowhere to put an exponent here. Um, maybe that's the way to think about it, is if you were to translate this like I did, there is no word that suggests an exponent. There is no word that says to the x or to the, you know, the t or anything like that. It's just there's no word for it. Of is very simply multiplication. So that is just, it's literally written in the sentence here. Um, hopefully this helps. I'm sorry if this got you, um, but luckily there don't seem to be very many of these in the first module. We will see more in the hard module, so start thinking about it as you get to harder questions, there is more likely gonna be stuff like this that, that tries to trick you.